नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सारथी टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज द इनिशियल वीडियो ऑफ एंड्रॉयड ब्लूटूथ ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू एनेबल ब्लूटूथ ऑन डिवाइस आई एम स्किपिंग इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट बिकॉज एवरी वन नोज अबाउट द ब्लूटूथ सो कम टू द पॉइंट इन ऑर्डर टू यूज ब्लूटूथ फीचर इन योर एप्लीकेशन यू मस्ट डिक्लेयर द ब्लूटूथ परमिशन इन एंड्रॉयड मैनिफेस्ट एंड देयर आर टू परमिशन फर्स्ट इज एंड्रॉयड डॉट परमिशन डॉट ब्लूटूथ एंड सेकेंड इज एंड्रॉयड डॉट परमिशन डॉट ब्लूटूथ अंडर स्कोर एडमिन सो दीज टू परमिशन आर रिक्वायर्ड दैट वी विल एड इन मैनिफेस्ट फाइल For enabling the Bluetooth on device, we will follow few steps. First is verify that Bluetooth is supported on the device or not. So first, we will verify if our device does not support Bluetooth, then game is over because we can't do anything. But if device supports, then we will check is Bluetooth enabled or not. because if bluetooth is already enabled then there is no need to enable it again and if bluetooth is not enabled then we will enable bluetooth so these three steps that we will follow so first of all we will create an object of bluetooth adapter for example my bluetooth adapter in my case and initialize it using bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter and after that we will check using this object if this object my bluetooth adapter equal to null that means device does not support bluetooth and we will end here but if device supports bluetooth then we will come in the else part and here using same this object my bluetooth adapter dot is enable this is enable will return true if bluetooth is enable and false if bluetooth is not enable so in case of bluetooth is not enable this will return false and using this not operator we will make it true because this not operator converts true into false and false into true so if bluetooth is not enable this will return false and it will return true and as well as this this block will be true this if condition will execute and here we will write the code for enabling the bluetooth so first is first step is check whether device supports bluetooth or not second is check whether the bluetooth is already enable or not and third step is enable bluetooth so for this enabling the bluetooth we will write some code that is that is to request that bluetooth be enable we call start activity for result we call this method and this method will start the bluetooth but this method takes two arguments first is one intent that is action request enable so this this method will take two argument one is intent action request enable and second is an integer that must be greater than 0 okay first of all we will create an object of integer that is request underscore enable underscore bt you can choose any name and assign it for example 1 you can choose any value that must be greater than 0 so we are choosing 1 and second create an intent so intent enable bluetooth intent equal to new intent and here action request enable here bluetooth adapter dot action request enable okay 
now we will call this start activity for result method and pass these two arguments enable bluetooth intent and request enable bluetooth one more thing you will have to remember that we will use this method later on our program so declare it globally and this intent you can declare globally or locally no problem but declare this request enable bt object globally okay so we will use it later on now our code will look something like this first we will create object of bluetooth adapter first step we will check whether device supports bluetooth or not second we will check if bluetooth adapter is enable or not and third is using this code we will enable okay one more thing this start activity for result returns the result of the activity so using that we can get acknowledgement of whether bluetooth is enabled or not now for that we will override a method called on activity result and using that request code we will check if the request code will be equal to request underscore enable dot bt that means that is the same request that we have created for bluetooth enable and here if the result code will be ok that means the bluetooth is enabled and if the result code will be result underscore cancel that means the bluetooth is not enabled that means user denied the request of enabling the bluetooth by pressing cancel button ok so i think this is enough for the theory part in the next video we will do some practical on android studio meanwhile if you like this video please hit like button and also subscribe this channel see you in next till then bye